It's a big advocate, though, for nuclear energy is our current Miss America. Yes, and she is using her new platform to educate people on clean energy. Grace Stanky, thank you so much for joining us, and congratulations, Congrats. by the way, as, well, uh, for winning you. the crown. Really cool there. Um, your thank initiative you. for Miss America is called Clean Energy, Clean Future. What are you doing to actually accomplish that goal in your time as Miss America? My biggest goal is changing public perception surrounding the word nuclear, because when I tell people I'm a nuclear engineer, typically they're making some incorrect assumptions about what I want to do with my career. So a lot of it is working with the youth of today to talk to them about how nuclear science and energy really is all around us, whether it's in the medicine world, in our agriculture, and in our electricity world, and educating them on how they can continue to use it moving forward and how they can promote it and be a part of that industry. But outside of the youth, I do work with conferences and business professionals and politicians about nuclear policy and how we can support keeping the current nuclear power plants that are, you know, I love that you brought up, they're already powering a fifth of America. We want to keep those open. We need those to stay open to continue providing a zero carbon baseload source of power for our energy grid. So working on keeping those open and continuing to open more while advancing current technology and, and new technology like small modular reactors and so much more. Do you think one of the reasons why we haven't expanded on nuclear uh, energy is because of the fear that you know, some people have uh, of the technology? And if that's the case, what are you doing to our youth to calm down those fears? I would say 100% that is one of the biggest obstacles because unfortunately nuclear science's first introduction to the world was a very bad and, and a not, you know, not a positive introduction despite the fact that every technology can be used for good and for bad. This has tremendous good purposes ranging from being able to cure cancer, you know, my dad survived cancer twice thanks to nuclear medicine. And then also being able to power homes with just a small amount of fuel and that's something that's truly remarkable. Uh, but the biggest thing that I'm doing is talking about those misconceptions. No, nuclear waste is not green goo sitting in cans. It's something that's contained, it's safe, and it's something that we as engineers know how to maintain. All right, so you've done a bit of research on uh, nuclear fusion. What do you think about the recent um, headway that's been made in that area? And what do you think yeah. it will mean for green energy as well? That is a tremendous and exciting discovery and, and move forward in the fusion industry. Fusion is the holy grail of energy sources. I firmly believe that it's powered by water, you know, fueled by water, which is something that we have an abundant resource of and has a, an immense power output and has the ability that with enough engineering and time and development on the process, it can be a very inexpensive form of, of power for people to use. So I'm very excited to see where that continues to go. We have so many brilliant intelligent and thoughtful people working in the nuclear community to help support fusion. And I'm excited to see where it goes. If we're not mistaken, we, I believe you're about to graduate. And um, what is your plan in this field after graduation? Yes. Yeah, so I am set to graduate this year while I'm serving as Miss America. I'm still doing school online, uh, which I'm very thankful for. But after graduation, I plan on working in the power sector. For me personally, I want to do engineering right off the bat. I want to I want to be the person, you know, turning the valves, pushing the buttons, helping with that 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 boots on the ground kind of work. And then as my career moves on, I love advocacy work like what I'm doing right now as Miss America. And I would probably enjoy getting into the policy side of things. So I see my career heading in that direction. Mm -hmm towards the end cool. of it. First of all, I love yeah. that you're a Miss America in your STEM. That makes me so happy right. as a woman who's <laughs> also in STEM. So what is your message to, you know, the younger generation who want to be good stewards and also pr pursue a STEM career? Because it can be a little overwhelming, right? Intimidating. And intimidating yes. for a lot of, of young yes. women. It certainly can. It certainly can. And I've, I've experienced that firsthand. But the biggest piece of advice I have is, is be 100% yourself and be comfortable in who you mm -hmm. are. In my experience in the work that I have done as a nuclear engineering student throughout co-ops and internships and research labs and everything I've done, the best teams that create the best products are the people that aren't afraid to speak out and poke holes and are okay with saying, hey, you know, I might have, I might have been a co-op, you know, pretty much the bottom of the barrel when it comes to 
like the workplace, but I wasn't afraid to call out the director and say, hey, like this is something that should be looked at. And those are the best teams that when everybody has a voice and everyone has a seat at the table and has yeah. a diverse, different background to point out the errors, those create the best teams and the best products. So it's important to everyone going into the STEM field to embrace who they are and accept, you know, be confident in what they have to say and confident in what they believe in, in terms of the engineering process and the product. Heck yes. Yeah. Confidence is key. <laughs> key. And question asking. I was the kid. I had yeah. no shame in my game. I'm like, I don't know what yeah. you're talking about. By but the way. But I'm interested. You were 80, interested. 80% of the class had no idea either. <laughs> you know, just, they were too scared <laughs> to ask. Exactly. That's good. You know? Exactly. So asking a question goes a long, yeah. long way. You know what? You never, you're never going to get an answer. And the worst that happens if you ask the question is you're still in the same spot yep. that you were before. True. You asked That's the question. right. So Grace, thank you. so important. Miss yeah. America 2023. Thank you, thank you so much uh, for coming on the show and being such a leader in the uh, field of STEM there. You know, my other advice is office hours. That's how I survived meteorology school, all my math classes. Yeah. <laughs> I went to every office hour available and sat yeah. there. And learned yeah. a little extra. Well, I tried. Yeah. <laughs>